Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Tuesday, which means just like every Tuesday that it's time to take a look at some of the online video updates happening here on YouTube and talk about the implications that they have for us as creators. And we guys, we got a lot to talk about, including like Facebook autoplay stuff is, you know, coming to YouTube. I guess YouTube's taking a trick from Facebook and making it work here, but we're going to talk a lot about that. But first of all, one of the main updates that happened here on YouTube last week is that they now rolled up an update to the YouTube audio library where besides just offering a lot of different royalty free tracks that you can freely download and use in your videos now they also show you what would happen to your video if you chose to use a copyrighted song that is already claimed under content ID here on YouTube so you want to know before you use Taylor Swift song or before you use all about that bass in one of your videos uh, is YouTube gonna take down your video automatically are they gonna let you post it but just monetize your content and take the ad revenue from you you know what's gonna happen well you can search through that library now and see what the policy is for the song that you want to use. Now you may look at this and think, great, now I know exactly what copyrighted music I can and can't use on YouTube. Except for, guys remember, just because you know what the policy for that track is now doesn't mean that it's legal for you to just take someone else's copyrighted material and use it on your video without permission. The copyright holders can still change their policies at any time and they can still issue copyright strikes against you and your channel and your video under a specific situation. Situations. So even though you might upload a video to YouTube right now using someone else's song in exchange for giving them all the ad revenue from your video, be aware that sometime in the future your video status could change and it could be pulled at a later time. Another new feature on YouTube that has been spotted on a couple channels like the PBS Ideas channel and Vsauce's channel is the ability to create an animated GIF image from taking five seconds of that video, adding some text over it, and YouTube will host it for you. You can either download it or just share it directly from from YouTube and take your favorite five seconds of a video that you're watching from that channel and just share that animated GIF image wherever you want. But here's the question, right? Like, why would YouTube go and create a sharing feature like this? Well, there's a couple reasons. Number one is because it will integrate into a new YouTube service that will be rolling out sometime in the future that we'll talk about at that time. Uh, number two, Tumblr, right? Like, everything on Tumblr is, uh, is an animated GIF image. And I know it's obviously like oversimplifying Tumblr, <laughs> but you can't deny the fact that animated just work great on Tumblr and even on Google Plus like a little bit I guess maybe it's a hat tip to Google Plus. If you want to play with it and check it out yourself There's links in the description below this video You can go over to some other channels that have it enabled and play with it and see what you think Another thing that you guys might be interested in is this graph right here that shows how YouTube revenue is growing compared to how CBS and AMC's revenue growth has been growing over the past several years and I think this looks really promising for us as creators knowing that more advertising dollars are coming in the space but of course AdSense isn't the only way to make money on YouTube right like you do brand deals like famebit.com our sponsor here this month lets you do exactly that you can simply go to their website log in with your YouTube channel and just browse our marketplace of many 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 different brands and advertisers who are looking for creators to talk about their products right inside your videos and they will pay you very quickly and well to do that you can also use their service to find other creators to collaborate with most of the creators there are offering free collaborations, but you can find some creators who might have a sizable audience who are willing to give shout outs and help other creators grow for a nominal fee. Or maybe you have a sizable audience and you want to help other creators grow to pay you to help give them a shout out. Definitely check out the link in the description text below this video to go directly over to their website or just go to famebit.com. You can learn more there. Another new feature on YouTube actually seems to be taking a tactic from Facebook's playbook in that they are going to start auto playing some videos at least they're testing the idea out right now so that when you are done watching one video the next suggested video in that playlist or the series or related videos will automatically start playing now we've had autoplay in playlists for quite some time now but this actually seems to be like related to the suggested videos that YouTube is recommending after one video ends so the upside to this is that users potentially might discover more new content you know because because it's less effort to start the next video you know playing so that user could be introduced to content that they might not otherwise have watched but of course you also run the risk of having it being too annoying and YouTube playing videos that you're really not interested in so YouTube is experimenting with the idea right now on a few global users is just to see how it works and how people respond to it but it makes me think of a couple things for us as creators of how we should start designing our content 
if this becomes a thing. Those first like seconds of your video like really have to be fine tuned and honed to really hook that viewer because they've probably never heard of you before. They don't know, you know, your video is hopefully related to the one they just watched. So hopefully there's an interest level there. But yeah, there's a very short amount of time before they're probably very trigger happy and just clicking away on something else that's on their screen. Also, maybe it might be worth looking at what other videos might my video potentially be related to and how could I maybe craft my content so that when someone's done watching this video, mine is like an easy, good segue way into you know following up on the topic or taping taking it a step further or making it like more related to that video than it might otherwise have been in order to really keep the you know autoplay views going onto your video after they're done watching the other video. I don't know. Those are some ideas I've had because personally for me on this channel and on other channels I'm a part of, related videos actually make up a pretty significant chunk of monthly viewership and exposure and picking up new subscribers and my overall view count and many things. So I think it's probably worth paying attention to this feature if it starts rolling out more broadly and how we as creators start to craft our content to really take advantage of it. So definitely leave your tips and ideas down there below. The rest of you guys go down there and read the tips and ideas that other people are sharing. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. Every Tuesday, we take a look at the online video news just like this, talk about the updates and the changes that are happening and what it means for us as creators. Tomorrow, Wednesdays, can give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, suggestions, and advice. And then on Thursdays, we'll do some YouTube Q&A where I take a question that one of you guys asks and I do my best to answer it here. And I do all this because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that really need to spread, that the world needs to hear, and I wanna do everything that I can to help you guys grow your audiences and spread your message to change the lives and impact the people who need to hear what you have to say. So thank you for letting me be a part of helping you guys do that. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.